Well, good evening, guys. It's uh, been a while since I did an update on my tank. Uh, this is my 110, and uh, there's a few more additions in here. Um, here, all right. So this is McFlurry. It's just a comment, but I thought I don't know, can't tell if it's a male or a female. A friend of mine was over today who actually has an idea how to sex goldfish, and um, we think because because he she is white, it's hard to tell. So, whoa, yeah, the power filter just blew you across. <laughs> so that's McFlurry. Uh, possibly a female, but we're not sure. This is Booble. That's my Oranda with the big wind. Coming right up and saying hello. <laughs> and um, uh, this is a male we figured out today. A little floppy. So cute. I don't know. I like the way he moves. <laughs> There's Spot. Spot's doing great, actually, in the new tank. He seems to love everybody. There's McFlurry. There's Fatty McBulbus. Fatty um, actually suffered a bit of an ammonia burn before we got him into the 110 and seems to be healing, but he's fine. She, he, she, we can't tell if it's a male or a female yet either. Um, there's Goldie. Goldie's a male. Um, my friend told me that on the front fins, which is, you can't, hard to tell on some fish, but on the front fins, um, sometimes there's white spots, like right there. Ah. See, they're moving so fast, like, you know, the front fins. Um, Booble has them. You can see them. Oh, but, you know, it's hard to get close, but Booble has them. Little white spots on the front fins, the little, like, little arms there. Right along, like, the, the line, you know. Yeah. Um, this Blackmore here, Midnight, is actually a female. Because there are no white spots. And it's quite obvious on a smaller fish like that. Um, red is a male. Look how big he is. He's huge. There's Spot. And, uh, who are we missing? Oh, yes. Okay, in the back there, you see the lion head. My friend Michael gave this lion head to me today. His name is Yin. And, uh, he is a Chinese, uh, bred lion head, I believe. And he's, I'm not sure how old he is. I guess he's a little bit under a year. I think he's just getting used to the big, big tank. He was in a 90-gallon before, but not as tall as mine. But he actually, he told me he his he was staying at the bottom a lot with the other fish. But Yin Ting seems to actually quite like going all the way up. Um, down at the bottom, being very shy, and I don't know what she's doing there. She's sitting in the plants. That is Yang. That's a little female lion head. I don't know what on earth she's doing there. She was hiding in the plants before. She's a little bit shyer. And don't worry, she's not sick. She's perfectly fine. She got a bit stressed from her trip here today. Um, so she's been uh, not so bad. Maybe she's just getting tired. They've been swimming all day long. My guys are used to being up and going all over the place. And she seems to be resting. So, so yeah, there's... Uh, and this, that's Panda. Panda's... One I just got a couple of days ago. I fell in love with panda bear fish. Well, the panda eye um, butterfly tail. See the butterfly tail at the my last job, and so I had to get one. So I fell in love with this one and got it home. There's Booble again. There's McFlurry. So well, I don't know what she's doing down there, little silly monkey. Um, this is uh what. I understand to be, how would I put it, uh, my mind just went blank, maple leaves turned into rock, crunched maple leaf I guess, they, they've like lava rock almost you know. So I have that in to help with the biological filter and that is something new I put in. It's. <laughs> Those are lava rocks holding in the plastic plants into the clay pot. I just have some rocks down there. That's actually a marble. There's my marble turtle. And I have some other slightly marbly rocks there. And, uh, oh, there's some snails <laughs> hanging out at the top. This is a piece of driftwood that my friend Annie gave me. And that's a fish I found. It's ceramic. I found it at... Um, village. That's kind of neat. It's hollow, but it's down on the ground, so I'm going to take it out every once in a while and rinse it out and put it back in. I think it's really cool. That's another creation I made. So it keeps on falling over. There's Nightmare. Nightmare's always hanging around the bubbler. 
some reason, Nightmare likes this corner. I don't know. And, uh, over here on the top, hanging out, not doing so hot, is Fleckle. Fleckle's been sick for a little while. And I've tried to treat him with Melifix and a whole bunch of other things. You can't see him very well through the bubbler. But see, he's got a sore that's healing on the side. He's, if you look at him from behind, he's kind of has a, a funny shape to him. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, my friend today told me that um, he might stress out the other fish in the tank. He might, because his immune system is taxed, he might actually get sick and then make these guys sick. And none of these guys are sick. I mean, look at them go. They're all over the place. They're doing really well. Oh, there we go. She's coming out. She's coming out. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, i got to see her swim. She's so cute. There's the lion, the lion head. See, they follow me around, eh? Look at this. Because <laughs> they think I'm going to feed them. What is she doing now? She's going behind there. She likes to hang around at the bottom a lot. She likes the bubbler, too. You can't see her, though. She's hiding. She's shy. Yes, are you going to sleep on the bubbler? This silly monkey. He's red like a biggie, let's see. Anyway, so, yeah. Speaking of Fleckle again. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might actually... I might call him. Culling is putting down. I don't really want to, though, but I don't know. I don't want him to suffer, or her, she suffer. There could be an, any number of problems that she's having, but, um, I mean, it's a comment. She was a feeder goldfish. I mean, not that it makes it any more, less worthwhile, but, you know, I already have two big comets in here, and the last thing I need is for all my little fancies to get sick, because, you know, I can't let go of a two-year-old comet that just isn't getting any better. Even though I've tried just about everything. I mean, we're talking Malefix. We're talking, um, what's it called there? Uh, clear Out, I think. It's a bacterial stuff, feeded medicated food. So the last couple of days, been hanging around at the filter intake and not doing so hot. So, um, yeah, so basically that's it. So, that's everybody. I still don't know why she's hanging out behind there. Oh, she's going to come out and say hello? Hey, What are you doing, you? Not sure what she's doing. She's still stressed out about the trip. She really didn't like being in a styrofoam, like in a bag in a styrofoam box. Do do do. Oh, she's going to swim across again. Little, 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 little. She's a little bit chubbier than the other lion head. Yin is, is a little bit thinner, and you can't tell, but... <coughs> Excuse me. So there you go. Look at this. Look at these guys, eh? They're doing great. So this is the tank when you stand back from it. So you can see it's quite big. Looks like there's just, like, goldfish in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> With one guy hanging down there, and the other one hanging down there, and everybody... The other one hanging up there, and then everybody else is like, doodle doodle doodle, following me around. So, there, that's my goldfish tank. I hope you've enjoyed. I did a major water change today, uh, about 70 or 80 percent, um, because I had some cloudiness, and it seems to be doing okay. So, uh, yeah. Oh, check this out. <laughs> that's cool. There's a snail on the fake plant. <coughs> they always do that. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll give you another update when something else happens. Bye.